Hi, my name is Andrew Wright from iTeacher. I'm an innovation specialist and educational consultant. I worked as a teacher for the last 22 years and I'm still active in classrooms, training up staff and students on best use of innovation technology. I want to talk to you today about the educational metaverse and show you some of the things that we're doing to transform online learning for our students. So come with me and I'll show you what the metaverse is all about. So this is the entrance to the metaverse and from here you can access any of the portals to get to any of the locations that we've created. So during the last three months we've had time to create an entire metaverse. So we've got dinosaur museums, we can go to the reef, there's a castle, we also have the moon. All of these places you can go to and run your sessions. Today I'm going to be taking you on a tour of our Leonardo da Vinci Forces Museum and you can have a look around and this is just like a little precursor to sharing it in the virtual world. I just wanted to show you exactly what we're doing and how it all works. So here we can see one of da Vinci's models, um, in a modern day replica. The problem with this model is that it would never take off. Now my question to you is why? What forces involved would stop this from happening? You can use any app that you find applicable and then what you're going to do is upload your findings and your discussion to Shobi so I can mark it. I think this is my favourite model in the entire museum. But today what I want you to do is to concentrate on the balls moving around the outside of the object. There are forces acting upon these balls as they move around. What are they? So in order to show me this, I need you to snapshot the screen and then use the markup tool to add arrows or diagrams explaining what's happening and then you can upload that to your Google Classroom or Shobi. So during the Renaissance period, Leonardo da Vinci created a lot of incredible inventions, but probably what he's most well known for are paintings as an artist. And this is probably the most famous of all paintings. This is the Mona Lisa with an enigmatic smile. And here, if you look at this model, it looks absolutely huge, but in real life, it's probably the same size as one of your A4 writing books. And if you go and visit it in the museum, you are, have to shuffle past with everybody else to get a good look at it. And then you have to squint because it's quite far away. But this is probably one of the most famous artworks of all time. So I hope you've really enjoyed looking around the museum. This is just a taster. You will be able to come into it when it's opened up and work, walk around in this virtual world and experience some of the cool exhibits we've got in here. So thank you for watching and hopefully see you soon.